Today I'm going to tie the Copper John by Mr. John Barr. Uh, this is a pattern that has been hugely popular throughout the years. Uh, I'm sure you've used it, you've probably tied it as well. Uh, it just, it's just such a significant pattern that I felt it was necessary uh, to have it on my channel. Uh, this used to be a really popular fly here in Iceland kind of went away somewhat, uh, especially when we started using the tungsten jigs. But this fly is still a really good option, especially in the mountain lakes in Iceland for some reason. But anyway, uh, the hook I'm going to use is from Arex. It's the FW561. It's the traditional nymph hook. Uh, I have a copper bead on and a few uh, wraps of lead wire as well to give it some extra weight. Uh, now the thread I'm going to be using is the standard brown uh, from Techstream. This is just, as I said, the standard 8.0 size. Now first off, uh, we'll do the tail. I do the tail from brown uh, goose biots. You can do them out of, I mean, you can do pheasant tail, anything at all, really. Now, before you tie in the biots, you want to place them so they're facing away from each other, like this. Once you've got that, lay them on the side of the hook. Tighten down. This way you'll always get the tail perfect. Like this. Go up the shank again and use the biots to form a tapered body. Now for the body, we're doing copper wire. This is just the soft wire from uh, Uni. And when you tie it down, place it just behind the lead wire. Try again. Here you go. There. Now here's a pretty in, uh, important step. Uh, you want to make sure that the thread is pretty even before you wrap the wire forward because if the thread is uneven it'll accentuate the wire and I mean that's if you want to get the wire like really uh, nice looking but it's not not too important uh, when you reach the lead wire secure the copper wire with your thread There you go. Uh, now for the thorax. Um, this is probably the part I like best uh, with the carpet john. We have a lot of materials. Uh, we have some pico curl, we have partage feather, we have uh, latex, black latex, and some, and some uh, mylar tinsel uh, to make the fly look perfect. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's a little bit complicated and that's what I like about it. So first off, uh, the Mylar Tinsel. Uh, you can go with pretty much any color you like. Uh, I like the pearl. 
And I like to do a double layer. Make sure it's on top of the hook shank. There. Now the black latex. Position it right in the center, if you can. There you go. And now for the Pico Curl. To make the fly a little bit stronger, I like to put some varnish at uh, onto the peacock. Maybe it doesn't matter in the end, but it gives me a little bit more confidence. There. Now, because we want to do this, uh, make this fly extra fancy, I have a partage feather uh, for the legs. Uh, before we tie in the legs, we need to uh, work the feather a little bit, strip away all the fluff from the stem, make it look something like this. them in. Now if they're a bit long, don't worry about it, we'll shorten it a little bit later. Bring the latex forward. Place it dead center. There you go, and now the Mylar Tinsel. The legs look fine to me, so I'm keeping them this way. Clean up a little bit. Uh, to accentuate the thorax, uh, I like to put some UV resin on top. Really makes the, the tinsel pop. Just add a small drop to your needle.
make sure to get some on your wire as well. There you go. Uh, just a suggestion, if you want the flight to last a little bit better, you, get a, you, you should take some varnish, uh, just your regular flight time varnish and put over the, uh, the UV resin to make it last a little bit longer. Uh, the Carpet John by John Barr. Ties them up. Thanks for watching.